Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm doing a thousand videos and I'm pre-recording these videos. Yes, I am. Um, this is your video reading um, for November the 13th. Um, if you guys have not been watching my daily readings, please do so. Uh, this one, whoa, the, both of these cards decided to roll right on out. So I'm going to, I'm going to take them because it wasn't my fault. Um, so I'm trying my hands, my hands of, of luck, um, doing the, um, daily readings. I also have, um, so many video readings to do in regards to like the monthly readings for 2022, which I will be doing all before the end of the year. I wanted to do them before October. And of course that did not happen. I've been taking up a ridiculous amount of hours at my job, um, which is fantastic, which is great. Um, because it's bringing in opportunity and prosperity my way. However, it sometimes limits the, the amount of energy I can put into my YouTube channel. So here goes November 13th. So we have um, fertility and renewal, you guys. Uh, everything new, everything, everything forever changing. Sometimes we see renewal as like a rebirth. But in this case, I feel like death is knocking on our door. Um, and... It's knocking on our door because it's like kind of forcing us to change um, when we sometimes don't want to. And sometimes we have to play the devil's advocate in certain situations in our own life to be able to be in pursuit of our own happiness in the way that we feel most comfortable. Um, a lot of us, I feel, are... Um, no longer having like too many issues like maybe like 30 percent of us are not having too many issues in regard to pleasing other people i feel like the other day when i pulled cards um well today when i pulled cards for like the 11th and the 12th you were like people pleasing and today we kind of like ah, nope gotta focus on me so we finally got to the focus on me and then we have the hangman and the moon card came um right next uh, to one another um, and if you guys hear a noise in the background, Victoria is always chipping in, okay? <laughs> um, so I feel like the new perspective, um, or whatever is new for us is hiding. Um, and it's hiding very, very deep within us. So what, whatever new plans we have, um, continue to hide them. Because I feel like, yes, there's evil eye. I mean, there's always evil eye, even if it's intentional. I mean, unintentional. There's always like evil eye happening around us. But I feel like the new perspective, new projects, a new anything, the new us is hiding beneath the surface because it's not time for, for them to come out. It's not time for her, for him to come out um, at this very moment in time. And they will come out at the perfect timing, perfect moment. Um, but for, for right now, I still feel like you need to construct or we all need to construct. We all need to put some sort of our best foot forward um, to finish constructing um, our new selves. And, and and then we can come out like, like the eagle coming out of a fire, um, like the phoenix coming out of a fire. We can come out renewed, um, pampered, loved, and adored. But most importantly, not just by other people, but, but by ourselves. So we're able to have thicker skin. If you love yourself and you put yourself first most of the time, that means you're putting all of your ancestors first. That means you're putting the God or the God consciousness or the gods or the universe or all of those energies before anybody else, which means you are in alignment with the universe. Okay. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all very, very much. And please do not forget to water your life. Bye.